Hey guys, excuse how I look, excuse the curtain. I've got you like propped up. This is the best I can do. Today is such a big day. It's like one of the biggest days of Robin's life so far. And I am about to find out her school placement. I've already looked and the email is way in, in my folder. I haven't opened it, but I feel like I need to give you like backstory to explain why I'm so literally ill about it. So for like context, the town where we live, I didn't go to school here, Jamie didn't go to school here, so we we're both pretty clueless about schools. My only knowledge of the schools is like Riley's experience um, and also the school system here is a bit different. It's not primary, secondary, it's like obviously nursery, preschool if you choose to go that route. And then first school, reception to year four, middle school, year five to year eight, and then like sort of higher education. Um, which is year eight all the way up to six form. Because of the girls' age gap, if they follow that system, they will always be at two different schools. So, which is really, ugh, like I don't want to be doing two different school runs forever, you know? Also, where we, where we live, we have a school that is literally up the road. Like with the kids, it's a five minute walk, so close. So I always was just like, she'll go there. And um, obviously I used to work in a nursery. So when people would ask me, I would say, oh yeah, she's gonna go there. And I would always see like a flicker of something on their face, but they never said anything, but I picked up on it. Um, and then anyway, one of the la one day, one of the ladies that I used to work with told me that she used to work there in the nursery bit. And she told me her experience and like it wasn't a good experience. So I was like, hmm, I need to actually look into this school a bit more. And this was before I needed to like actually apply for schools, by the way. But I found the Ofsted report and oh my God, I was traumatized from reading the report. So I was like, she's not going there because it literally said the students weren't safe. And I'm like so stressed about her going to school anyway. Like it's a really big deal for me. I'm really anxious about it. Um, so then I felt a bit silly that I was telling everyone that she was going, going there and they were looking at me like, mm, why would you send your kid there? But obviously I just didn't know. Um, so yeah, that's like my, our catchment score is off the table. And obviously working at a nursery, I hear a lot about the schools. Are you right, Woogie? So, there, let's call this school, School A. I was hearing a lot, a lot of positive things about this school. A lot of the children at the nursery I worked at would go on to that school because it was like the closest school. So I was like, and also I knew someone whose like mum was the reception teacher or something. So I was like, hmm, I think School A is probably going to be my first choice. Like, remember, I'm like totally clueless about all the schools. So, however, when it came to like actually viewing schools, I had spoken to a lot of people who lived so close to it, put it as their first choice, still didn't get in. It was so oversubscribed. So people told me like, when you go to the right school, it's a light bulb moment. You will know that that's the right school for your child. Went and toured school A, really loved it. Really, really loved it. It was exactly what I thought it was going to be. Um, However, in the back of my mind, I was like, I haven't had the light bulb moment, but I really liked it at the same time. And I came out of it and I was like, yeah, that's gonna be first choice. School A is the first choice. A week later, I went and toured school B, um, which is like quite close to us. Um, not walking distance, but it's close. Um, and I also really liked that one, but for some reason, I cannot, ex I couldn't tell you a single reason why, but I'm, in the back of my head, I was like, uh, I don't really want her to go here, but it was very similar to school A and I couldn't find a single fault with it. I don't know why, I'm just not feeling it at all. And then the final school that I toured, school C, was, uh, I don't, it's a new school, like, I don't know anyone that sends their kids there. I haven't heard anyone talking about even looking at it to send their kids there. And I just, I think I saw on Facebook that they were having an open evening, so I decided to book it. And I went there and I had my light bulb moment, which really, really shocked me because like I said, I've never heard anyone talk about it. Oh, it's hard to explain, but like their views and morals are more like, I'd say spiritual, mental well-being, and they do yoga and all that kind of stuff. So when I would mention that school, people would be like, oh, like I feel like people either love it or hate it. And for me, I just loved it. It was ticking every box and they also do not do the middle school system so it's reception all the way up to year eight so that if she gets in the girls would actually be at school together for a period of time which is amazing and so 
you guys probably know if you watch my vlogs, my I have a friend, Rihanna, who um, we meet at playgroup on Tuesdays. Her daughter is the same age as Robin and she is actually, like coincidence, before we knew each other, has put school C as her first choice for her daughter and obviously they're friends now. So like the girls have got it into their head that they're going to school together. And we were like, no, we don't know. It's a maybe, it's a maybe. So yeah, I've literally been ill about this since since I sent the application off in October. I have been counting down the days and stays the day. And last night I had the worst night's sleep ever. I literally, I always watch a bit of YouTube before I went to bed, finished, tried to go to sleep. And I was just like, like I could not sleep. So I put on a guided meditation because that's what I do if I really, really cannot sleep. It's not happening. I'll put on guided meditation because that always works. And once I'm asleep, I'm asleep. Got me to sleep, but then I woke up, which never happens with meditation. I think it's time we looked. My friends text me, but she hasn't told me if her daughter got in. So I'm gonna do it. I'm like shaking because I don't, I'm not gonna handle it very well if it's school B. I know she's not gonna get into school A. I put school C as my first choice, school A as my second choice. There's no hope of her getting in though. And school B as my third choice. So let's just do it. Are you right, Nunez? You're about to find out what school you're going to. No. It's school B, it's her third choice. Oh. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. You didn't get into T darling. You didn't get the school we wanted. I'm gonna message um Brody's mum and see. Okay. <sighs> this is not the happy moment I thought it was gonna be. I can only put her on a waiting list and hope. That's all I can do. Can't appeal it because I've got no got no grounds to appeal it, do you know what I mean? Mom. Yeah. Can you put... Yeah, I'm gonna put the sound on now and make breakfast. Have a good day, bye everybody. Oh, that was fun, wasn't it, Dougie? Yeah. I'm just like in the foulest mood now. I'm trying to get ready. <sighs> Unlock my personal Facebook. I think I'm gonna have to try and stay off that today because it's literally like, oh my god, Florence has got her first choice of school. I'm like, I didn't. <laughs> So I've just, oops, zoomed in, just done all our lunches. So here's Robin's, as you may tell. She's got chicken straws. And crispy has She's got, onions in it. Yeah, cheese and onion palm bears. Some slices of ham, which you probably won't eat. Strawberries and a little like chocolate wafer. And then I have a chicken and mayo, like bagel, another chocolate wafer, some crisps. Haven's got chicken straws, veggie straws, and a yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Hot water looks better, but I've only got access to cold. <laughs> 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 no! It's her gummy ninis. <laughs> I'm playing cheesing game. Mm-mm-mm. The tea greasing was well worthwhile. Hey, man! 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 Where we need a bit more control and finesse, Paul is using... <laughs> <laughs> and I see a picture of it.
What's that, a robot lawnmower? And I have what things before. You go and do what they say it is. Yeah. It's your own fault for being bored. You're too naughty to bring the toys. That's your own fault. <coughs> Right there on top of the moon We could sit and do nothing I wish we were bold To just fly away I don't wanna care It's being I'm good alone I'll be okay, miss you like an old friend To Too scared now, thinking I should call her Good morning guys, we are heading to playgroup, a little bit behind schedule because at the moment whenever we have to leave the house in the mornings for something, whatever it is for, results in a huge temper tantrum, literally every single time. So that is my life at the moment and what I'm dealing with. And um, yeah, the weather is, which way do I need to go? This way. Um, it's such a lovely day today. The weather is so unpredictable at the minute. Like one minute it's a lovely day like this, really sunny, and then the next day it is pouring with rain. Um, but yeah, it's our first week back at Playgroup after the Easter holidays. So last week we went to last week we went to my friend's house. Girls had a play date, and then the week before they came to ours. So yeah, we've still been seeing them every week, but um. Yeah, it'd be nice to get back into playgroup. And usually our new sort of routine is to then go to the park afterwards if the weather's all right. But I literally saw on Facebook that yesterday, today and tomorrow the park is shut because they're like doing their like, I guess, annual maintenance or something. Um, so yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do. They haven't got any plans, I don't know what they're doing yet. I've had to put like a full face makeup on because my face, particularly my chin, you can still see, I've lit I'm so annoyed because I've literally got makeup on. I've got the Jeffree Star layers and layers of the Jeffree Star concealer on. You can still see spots all over my chin. But yeah, cause like, yeah, I just have so much redness, like red spots. Like I've had a couple and then yesterday, like afternoon slash evening, I looked in the mirror and I was like, whoa, I had like loads. And I genuinely think it was the stress of the school situation that done it. Um, and I also had like really, really bad night's sleep that night. So I'm pretty sure that is what that is about. So yeah, I just feel a bit, usually, usually I just rock the no makeup if I've got spots, but I felt quite self-conscious of it. I think because I'm so pale as well, so when I get red spots, they really stand out on my face. No other plans for the rest of the day. Um, I picked up Riley yesterday afternoon when I drove back from my granddad's. And guys, you may, if you've watched the vlogs, you may know about the key, the key saga. I went and got him a new key cut and he was, um, so I, because he was like doing chores to earn money to buy the key. And I thought, I'll just get one cut so it's ready. So like when he's got the money, I can just instantly give him the key. Cause honestly, it's been driving me nuts him not having a key. It's made, made my life difficult, not even his. Um, yeah, so I did that. And then guess what? I found his key, his original key. And I was so annoyed, but I was like, you know what? Like I've gone and got another key cut now. So I'm like, you know what? He still owes me the money. So I haven't told him that I found his key. And he got the money and I gave him his new key yesterday. So his old key, I'm just keeping as a spare in the cupboard. No one tell him. But because he, he just, he needs to learn responsibility and also consequences for irresponsibility. So there is a life lesson learned there. Joy has to learn to put rubbish in the bin. He does need to learn to put rubbish in the bin, but you need to learn to not hit, to not push. You need to learn to do something when mummy asks you, like put your shoes on. You need to learn to stop screaming, don't you? And frightening Haven. So you both need to learn things, not just Riley, you need to learn things as well. Okay? okay. Good girl.
So we are now home from playgroup. I think it's almost one o'clock now, actually. And Havy slept. She usually sleeps at playgroup, but she didn't today. So then she slept in the car and then she just stayed asleep and I put her in her cot. And so she's had a little bit of a nap. Yeah, having lunch. Robin requested spaghetti for lunch today. And as I predicted, she's not really eating it. Why aren't you eating your spaghetti? You made it exactly how you asked. Yeah, but I just want to eat after. Okay. Havy's literally just woke up. I've just put her in her chair. She's got spaghetti as well and a little yogurt. And we got, oh, you had, was the cookie nice? Was the cookie nice? Yeah, because one of the parents, um, well, one of the dads, but um, he has started bringing food. I don't know if it's food from the shop that's going to be thrown out or food food from our community fridges but he's bringing like bread and stuff and today there was cookies um so yeah we've got cookies and i got like this coronation loaf of bread i don't know like spiced curry bread which sounds like a bit of me um but while we were out at playgroup i had a missed call from robin's school from robin's school so i just spoke to the head teacher and what am I Yeah, so um, it was mainly just to double check that our address was correct because she said they're going to start sending out loads of paperwork. And then she was saying about um, how they're going to be doing like settling sessions throughout the summer holidays, which I'm very, very keen to do because um, I toured the school by myself. Like Robin's never, ever, ever, ever even seen the school. So obviously I do want her to get comfortable with it before I just drop her off. Um, I'm sure she said as well that the kids do like two weeks of part time before they're in all day. Um, which when I was working, I was really stressed out about, but obviously now I'm not working, so it doesn't really affect me. Yeah, and then she asked for my permission to contact her nursery. Obviously, Robin's very different at home than what she is at nursery, so they want to get like a full picture of each child. And I said, that's fine. And then she actually, because I've been a bit worried because Robin's school is probably the furthest school away from her nursery, so... The vast majority of her nursery friends, like I said, I think yesterday, go to school A. But the head teacher said she's actually got three, I don't know if that's including Robin or not including Robin, but three children from her nursery going there. So even if they're not like friend friends, she's gonna have familiar faces. So that has really assured me. Um, and obviously I know that she's gonna make friends, like just like she did at nursery. She didn't know anyone when she started nursery and she made friends straight away, so. Yeah, I'm feeling much more positive about the whole thing. Um, at playgroup today, there was a couple of people that got, got that score. I just literally just said it, so I'll edit that out. Um, yeah, and literally every person I speak to says it's like it's such a good school, which I knew that, but obviously, you know when you have your heart set on something. Um, and I keep, every time I think about it, I change my mind about, because I was going to put her on the waiting list for school C, but now every time I think about it, I change my mind. I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. It's the fact that she's now gonna have to do middle school that's really making me think sh I should put her on a waiting list. And also the fact that her and Haven will be at two different schools. But then I'm like, what if she just really gets on there and really likes it and, you know, makes friends and I don't know. I don't know guys. And obviously it is a good school as well. So I don't know. It's We'll just see how it goes. But yeah, I'm gonna, um, continue eating my lunch and drink my tea before it goes cold. Hey guys, so it's, look at my crazy hair. I think it's like one o'clock. Yeah, bang on one. We have just got home. We've been at Jamie's Nan's this morning. Robin's still there. I'll pick her up later. Just got in, literally made Haven lunch. She has got, what have you got for lunch? Oh, you've just thrown it. Brilliant. She has got chicken straws, strawberries, and some Ella's Kitchen Melty Puffs. She just threw a strawberry on the floor. Oh, I need to talk to you about last night because last night was a series of unfortunate events. My curtains off, look. Um, so if you've watched my previous vlogs, then you'll know about this leak that we've had. I'm not going to go into the details of the leak because it's a long story in itself. Um, so we've been struggling with this leak for ages. It's literally everywhere now. Um... The work is booked in for the first week of May, but that's just to like repair the ceiling. However, 
it's still they can do that if it's everything's wet let alone still actively leaking and it has been actively leaking it's been getting worse but um i can speak to my housing association because they say it's data protection they can't tell me anything because it's not my leak it's obviously my upstairs neighbor's information so i've been really stuck and then monday night our lights kept tripping out so then i was like no someone needs to come back out obviously like this is getting worse not better like we're we were under the impression that the leak the source had been found and the work had been carried out but for us it's been getting worse so yesterday afternoon i contacted my housing association they sent out an electrician to make sure everything was safe and they also sent out a gas engineer to like go upstairs and try and find the source of the leak like they were thinking it could be like his boiler um both of them were absolutely perplexed like didn't have a clue what the cause was um they said everything was like bone dry up there but obviously they could see that there was a leak somewhere because our flat is getting destroyed so then they decided that they were going to send out for the plumber who thought he had found the leak and done all the work to fix it to come and we know that he lives like over an hour away so anyway also, while this is all going on, I am waiting for my HelloFresh box so I can cook dinner. And I don't know why, but they've changed my time slot now and it always comes like in the evening. It said it said between four and six. So then anyway, we're dealing with these like um, workmen and stuff. And then it's like gone six o'clock. And also like the men are obviously in my kitchen. So me, HelloFresh is not turned up. So I was like, me and Jamie are like, we're just going to have to get a takeaway because this is not happening. And then the workmen were like going upstairs, said they wouldn't be back. So then I was like, right, I can bath the girls now because it was getting late. Like everything was just, just totally off routine. So then I'm trying to bath the girls and oh my goodness, Robin's behaviour, which I haven't even spoken about. I've been really, really struggling with her behaviour. She's like possessed is the only way I can describe it. And she was horrific, absolutely horrific, to the point where I had to leave her in the bath, take Robin up, uh, Haven out. Haven was like traumatized, screaming. Um, take Haven out and like quickly trying to get her dry and dressed. By this point, Jamie comes in with the food, and he, I didn't realize that like he was having his own dramas trying to get the food with like an issue with his his qr code wouldn't work at the drive through and then he had to go in and he was only in his he was in his long johns and like he had his own stuff that had happened but i didn't realize and then he came in to obviously literally a sc everyone's screaming i'm hysterically crying and i just felt like he didn't support in that moment he didn't support me so then like we didn't argue but it was just everything was just everyone was upset everything apart from riley who was locked in his room unaware then my HelloFresh box turned up at half past seven in the evening, which is an absolute joke. So I did fill out a survey, like right in the delivery. I was, I was relying on that food to cook. Like I had no, other, I had no other food to make for everyone. Do you know what I mean? I when I go shopping, I only buy the food that I'm gonna make that week. Um. So anyway, that was really annoying. And then the plumber came out in the evening. Um. He went upstairs and he found the leak. And I'm not going to go into too much detail, but like basically the neighbor is not being very cooperative. Um, but he did for sure find the source of the leak, um, which is amazing. And actually overnight, it has stopped. Like I, I don't even want to say it, but like it's it has stopped dripping, which is amazing. Robin ended up getting sent to bed early last night. Haven ended up going to bed early because she literally passed out in her beanbag, but she skipped her afternoon nap for two days in a row. So she was tired and she fell asleep. So they both went to bed early. Then they both woke up loads in the night and like, oh, it was just terrible. It was awful, but we're still breathing. Today's been a better day. Robin, Robin's been having tantrums. Like every morning we've got to be somewhere. Every time we've got to leave the house in the morning, she's been having a tantrum about something or like not doing it. She's told just being naughty. And today she hasn't done anything yet so far. She probably will this afternoon because she'll be tired. So. Shall I put the sound back on for Hey Dougie? Happy? I'm going to eat my lunch now. I'm starving. I look at you and it's easy to see. You are that someone I've been trying to meet I got your number, won't you pick up the phone?
She had low blood sugar and the last time she had an episode I kept her off nursery all day and then by lunchtime she was fine jumping off the walls and I was like oh I wish I'd sent you in now so this morning what I decided to do was ring them and just let them know that she'd be in late and it worked out perfectly because I think she was in there at like 11 maybe just before 11 and she's supposed to start at 9 so I'm really happy that she's obviously feeling better happy to go to nursery haven't had any phone calls or anything, so she's obviously fine. It's now 12 o'clock on the dot. So then, dropped her for a nursery, went straight to Lidl and done the food shop, then to Sainsbury's to get milk for Haven. But that means that like Haven's morning schedule has like completely gone out the window because everything's been like two hours later than what we normally do it. She literally, she was awake the whole time. And then on the way home, I was like, okay, at this point, I'd rather she stay awake, get home, eat lunch, then she can sleep for like two hours. But no, she fell asleep on the way home. So I've put her in her cot and she's now having a nap. So I don't really know how long she's got a nap for because she's had a bottle this morning, but normally at this point she's had two, but she's only had one. And then obviously it's now lunchtime as well. So I don't think she's gonna sleep for long because she's gonna get hungry. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna quickly ooh, unpack the shopping and hopefully get to eat myself before she wakes up. So yeah. Okay, so we've got nappies for Haven, milk for Haven, crisps, uh, lunchbox stuff for our team, chocolate cookies for me. Um, chicken steaks, so I'm gonna do chicken wraps for me, Jamie and Riley, I think Sunday night. Uh, diced chicken for curry, chicken kebabs, cause I'm gonna do like, I'm gonna do like a non barbecue barbecue. I'm gonna do, I think it's Thursday night. I'm gonna do like a whole meat night. Just cook up loads of different meats. Lasagna. Uh, oh, I thought I got the beef and pork mince. Um, mince for chili. Sandwich for me today. Riley's pizza. Robin's pizza. Cucumber for lunches. Uh, chicken poppers for Robin's lunches. Sandwich chicken blueberries for the girls, cheese slices for the chicken wraps, ham for lunches, pizza for me. Toilet, rim thingies, nappy sacks, rice, bananas for the girls, lunchbox bars, beanies worlds for Jamie's lunches. And look at this huge reduced platter I got. And obviously I'm gonna chuck this in the freezer. Uh, melon for Riley's lunches and Robin. Um, lettuce for the chicken wraps. A little Pepsi Max for me. Baby bells for Riley's lunches. Milk. Quavers. Nan breads. Pan of chocolates for me in the morning. Tiger loaf. Chocolate biscuits. Some baby food pouches. Korma sauce. And then I just got this super cheap tomato sauce. But I'm going to bulk it out myself for the chilly night and then I've got garlic bread and I've just realized I've got two baguettes and I only need one so I guess I guess we can have garlic bread with the chili that'd be fine and then the other one for the lasagna but yeah that's it for this video if you liked it then please do subscribe and I'll see you very soon bye